Hello everyone, in this video we'll be discussing the gauge or the CRM, also known section, which is a section that you get for free with every phone or every website that you build on the system that helps you manage all your leads super easy and fast. And let's get into the whole engage section and let's discuss all the different parts and how you can manage all your leads. So now we are inside the lead generation funnel and every submission of a form or any payment in a sales funnel will create a contact in your engage section. We call it engage because inside that section, uh, people, uh, you know, you can engage with your users and very soon that would be available through email marketing and some other amazing cool features that by watching, by the time that you're watching this video might already be available. So now, Let's uh, actually first submit uh, a, a lead from here. So add some name, some email, and some phone number to submit this form. So we just submitted and completed our funnel step. And now if you go to the engage section, you see that this has been created as a user. So it is connected, all the forms of your funnel is connected, uh, they are connected with your CRM. Uh, and it creates a profile so you can click here on the user and you can see a profile of each user that you have you can also see the orders so if that user have orders you see that as well if they have subscriptions or memberships you see all that information as well for the user in this case this is a normal form submit and you can see what kind of a form they submitted inside your funnel you can see different properties that are currently created by default for every uh, you know user and you can add some notes address city and yeah you can so see what kind of uh, different things you have you can also add tags for the user so you can easily find them later on by filtering so how do you actually find different users you can add a filter and segment the users by different criteria, such as the tags the different properties that they have so you can find the ones that you're looking for and you can actually save a new lead, uh, a new filter. So let's say that we want to target everybody with an email that contains, let's say, domain.com. Just for the sake of the example. And we can click on Save Segment. That will allow us to save that segment to something that, let's say, it's, it's domain.com. And just like that, we've created a filter that we can easily click on whenever we want to find that information. All right, in that section, you can also see the memberships. And this is a place where you can actually see, see all the members that you might have. This is for when you assign people to a secured content area or if you're selling a membership type of a product. So people will be listed in the different groups that you can also create by clicking on that group. This way, you can organize your users into different groups with different access levels. Inside the groups, you can add the redirect, basically, is what is the main page that the group, when they receive an email or when they log in, will go to. Basically, that would be a great uh, you know, link to add for your dashboard, if you have different videos, like the first video or something like that. And that's about it. That's about how you can also add members and you can modify the columns of your um, of your uh, yeah of your listing. Now, if you click on the envelope, you can actually see here all the different forms that people have submitted. So you will never lose any type of a form that uh, somebody might submit it. So you can easily see them filter by the different form names and even download all these forms that they've submitted. You can see the user's profile as well and information about them. And lastly, about the settings. Inside the settings, you can see all the custom properties that you can you know, uh, modify the ones that are at the bottom uh, the ones are the systems on top of the system ones, so you cannot really modify those because they're by default there. You can create new custom properties, and this is how you do it. You just add some name to it, add a description. So let's add some name to be, for example, uh, I don't know, let's say gender description, and you can add it to be, uh, uh, it can be a, a list, uh, of some sort 
uh, or it can be like a, um, a single line of text it doesn't matter really just for the sake of the example and you can have it to be available in forms that means that this property basically will be visible to select when you're building your forms so if you click on save property that will create it and it will be at the bottom same goes for tags you can manage and create new tags really easy now all right let's start and go to the builder and let's see how we can use the tag that you, the property that we just created go into this form that we have on the on the opt-in page click on edit fields and inside when you click on the plus icon you can see all the different fields that you have and as you can see here we have the gender as well so now whoever fills in the gender uh, field it will actually link that information directly into the profile of the user that is created so actually if we go here we'll see that we now have the gender as well so it is automatically added as a field into all the existing contacts so this is at the moment how easy it is to work with the CRM that is available with each of your funnels or websites that you have on the system again a new and amazing features will be coming very soon and we'll have separate videos for those as well I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you have any questions don't hesitate and let us know